Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining the Stock Martin channel. I have a great video for you today, but first I would like to welcome you. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. If everybody can please give me that thumbs up, the like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. It'll help with the YouTube algorithm and I'll share this with others. Also, if you can, please hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. It'll let you know whenever I put my new videos out. I'd greatly appreciate it. Like I said, I have a wonderful video for you today. I think you're going to learn a lot from this video because we have great news from Lucid Motors. We did have our first drive. The first uh, analyst out there from Motor Trend did get to test drive the Lucid Air vehicle for quite some time. Gave us a lot of new insights and a lot of new points that I think will make this stock and this company grow very good in the future. Now, short term, it really didn't do much for the stock. But I didn't really expect it to. But overall, I think it was a great review. And let's get down into it and talk about this stock. Well, first, we will talk about this article from Motor Trend. It is titled The 2022 Lucid Air Dream. Uh, they did review the Edition R, and I'll explain that in just one little bit. But it is the first drive, and it is an absolute mic drop, which means this vehicle did fantastic. And uh, they do talk about why Lucid Motors all-electric first car is absolutely a threat to Tesla and other luxury makers. So let's jump down into this, but I did want to give you some important information that we have learned about Lucid Motors, especially the Dream Edition that will be coming out this year. Remember, there are 577 vehicles that will be accounted for that are reserved this year, and this is the vehicle that was reviewed. So we did find out big important news today. First one, is it will be coming in two different flavors. It will be coming as the Edition R, which does stand for range, which does have the longest range. We also have a second edition. The second one stands for Edition P, which does stand for performance. So if you do look at the range, which is the one that Motor Trend valued, it actually has 933 horsepower, but what it does is it increased its range to over 500 miles on a single battery charge. And this is the one, again, that Motor Trend did evaluate. They did witness this firsthand. Now, you can also choose to get a P, which is performance. What you do is you get rid of about 50 miles, but you do get a higher horsepower, which does offer more performance. So it does increase the horsepower to 1,111 horsepower, and the range goes to 450 miles down from 500 miles. Now, Lucid Motors did do a very smart thing, in my opinion, is that they allow the customer to choose, but they keep the cost of the car the same. So your choice is, do you want a sleek looking electric vehicle that has 100 more horsepower than a Tesla Model S Plaid? Or do you want a, a vehicle that has more horsepower than a Lamborghini has ever made and it beats the Tesla Model S long range at its own game by more than 100 miles. So this is great news in my opinion for Lucid Motors and I think once customers start having this and they can order these vehicles, I think it's going to do very good for its stock. We do know that uh, according to Motor Trend, they saw firsthand how the electric motors work. So the rear motor of the Model S, which is Tesla long range, weighs just under 300 pounds and it produces 430 horsepower, which gives it a power density, so horsepower per pound of 1.46. So the Lucid Air Dream uses the same motor in the front and the rear, and it weighs way under that. Look at this, almost by half. It weighs 163 pounds, but it makes a lot more horsepower. It makes 670 horsepower by spinning at 20,000 revolutions per minute. So it spins very fast, but this miniaturized motor does give it a very big power density of 4.11 horsepower per pound. Now, what does all this mean in lay terms? It means that Lucid Motors was able to miniaturize their parts and to make it more efficient. So it does require less weight. Less weight equals longer range 
and it does also give it more horsepower or more power. So you are starting to see Lucid Motors and its engineering, its technology is outperforming the leader out there, guys, which is Tesla, which is wonderful news for the company. And we did see it firsthand with this first test drive. Motor Trend does evaluate the look of the vehicle. They did talk about the inside, the design, outside and uh, inside and out. I really won't spend a lot of time talking about this, but um, Motor Trend, what I can say is that they were wowed. They did believe that the interior was very luxurious, was very quiet. It did have a very nice uh, screen uh, cluster. And they did compare it also to Tesla and the Mercedes-Benz, the EQS. They did say that Tesla did a very nice job of kind of mixing the two the, together, the Model S and the Mercedes-Benz, and they think that it came out with a beautiful concept. They did say that the Lucid Air Dream came with fantastic materials. They used woods, leathers, metals, they used uh, even fabric out there, and they did have one of the best interiors out of not any electric vehicle, but one of the best and nicest interiors in the car world, which is big, big news in my opinion. Um, they gave physical controls to control fan speed, temperature, volume, and the lighting, uh, which I think is a great touch. I definitely like the Tesla as well, how they're going more simple without having any physical buttons. It's all electronic, but I do like the nice touch that Lucid did by putting some physical controls in there. Now, Lucid Motors uh, was evaluated by Motor Trend on how it can drive. So the question is, does the Lucid Air drive like a Lotus? The reason why they're asking this is because Peter Rawlinson was actually the Lotus chief engineer uh, before he joined the uh, chief engineer of Tesla. So does it drive like a Lotus? The short answer is no. However, according to Motor Trend, the Lucid Air Dream, remember the R edition, which is for the range, reminds the reviewer that it did drive like a Nissan GTR, especially the Nismo version, which does have very superior handling. So this reviewer was very surprised by its very quick and nimble handling. And they said that the more he pushed it, the harder he pushed it, the better it got. So it did very, very well. And this is because it does have a smart all-wheel drive system. The Lucid Air Dream was shockingly fast, and the reviewer did say that um, they weren't even using it in its maximum energy capacity or using the maximum horsepower, and I'll definitely explain that right now. So what we have learned is that the Lucid Air has three drive modes. It has the Smooth, the Swift, and the Sprint. So the Smooth and the Swift actually limit the amount of horsepower that you have by decreasing it down from 933, decreasing it down to anywhere from about 670 in the smooth setting, which uh, dampens the, the dampeners, uh, the brake feel, and it makes it more of a smooth ride. You would probably use this more, more likely on the highway. Now, then you have your swift version, which uh, does decrease the horsepower down from that 933 till about 804 horsepower, but it makes everything a little bit stronger, a little bit stiffer for the suspension, which is great for more of a race car driving. And then you do have the Sprint version. Now the Sprint version is like the Tesla Plaid version. Whenever you do put it in this section, it does use all of the battery cells. It does use the full 933 horsepower, and it does the battery-like conditioning just like the Tesla Model Plaid to heat or cool down the batteries to the ideal temperature. But um, this reviewer mostly drove in the swift position, and he was blown away by how fast and how agile it was just using 75% power of this vehicle. Um, so very good news in my opinion, but the biggest news is looking at its technology, the battery technology. So they did evaluate Lucid's 113 kilowatt battery in the Lucid Air Dream R version. Remember, this is for the range. So they did test the range. And the range on this vehicle should be about 500 and something miles. The final EPA 
is still pending, but it will be coming out very shortly. But it is very nice to know that this vehicle does have that very long range. And like I said, we will see very shortly from the EPA of how much range this vehicle will have on the 113 kilowatt battery pack that the Lucid Air Dream vehicle does have. So it is um, a very nice vehicle and this was a very, very good review in my opinion. And how's it gonna affect the stock? Well, let's transition and take a look. Well, today the Lucid stock was down. It was trading at $21.48 today. Uh, for the day, it was down 1.5%. We are having that trend down. The highest that we got today was that $22. It was early in the morning, and we did have that trading and kind of going downward uh, motion on the graph. If we look in the past five days, we are still down 1.3%. We did try as high as about $23, but as you can see, we are still on that downward slope. And I do think that we will potentially uh, go under that $21. I definitely will give you some future forecast in just a few minutes. I did wanna look at the one month. We are down almost 15% in the past month. We broke $25 back in July, at the end of July. But this month in August, we have not seen $25. The highest we've seen about $24.50. And we are having that downward pressure, that downward trend. And so I do think that this is, again, a good stock to buy. If you get this stock under $21, in my opinion, I think you're getting a steal of a deal. If you are getting this under that $22, $23, I think you are getting a great deal, in my opinion, if you hold this long term. And let me show you what I mean. Looking at the stock price prediction of LCID Lucid Motors, we did in the day at $21.48. In the next one year, it is forecast, according to Wallet Investor, that we will be trading at $38 and about 40 cents. Five-year forecast is about $104. If you've seen the past videos I've been doing, these numbers are trending downwards. The reason why is this is using projections, using the past data and the past trading. I did want to share this uh, graph with you. It is some price predictions and a price line. As you can see, the orange line is the stock price that it has been for the past week and we are on that downward trend as I have mentioned. If we extrapolate this line, and this is the blue line, this is the forecasted trend that I am seeing right now, and we are going on a downward trend. Now, will this continue? We'll definitely have to see, we'll definitely have to monitor it, but I will keep you updated. But as you can see, there is a potential next week that we could go below $21. I definitely think that we will stay in about the $21 mark. It could go a little bit um, above the, you know, about $22, but about that $20 mark, and we'll definitely have to keep watching this. I do foresee that we will see a lot of volatility in the stock still in the next few weeks until we start seeing those deliveries. I think we will start getting those deliveries in about October is what Motor Trend was uh, speculating. So we'll definitely have to see but I will keep you updated as well. I think that this stock will do very good if you hold it long term. If you can, please give me that thumbs up, the like button if you learned something new. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell. Hit all so you can get all my videos whenever I put them out there. If you're new to the channel, leave me a comment down below that you subscribe so I can give you a shout out at the end of my videos. And again, thank you so much for uh, watching my videos. I appreciate it. Let's continue to grow this channel by sharing it with others. If you can, continue to share this with your friends, your family, uh, your coworkers, and that next door neighbor. I greatly appreciate it. And I can't wait to talk to you on the next one. Down below, if you would like to help out the channel, I put two links. One's for Weeble. If you open an account, deposit $100, you get two free stocks valued up to $1,850. If you deposit $100 into Coinbase, you get $10 of cryptocurrency and trading. Thank you for supporting the channel.